Welcome back to Miscellaneous March. Today we're going to be doing a sun salutation flow. So we're going to start actually standing up at the front of our mat today. Feet hip width apart. Standing up nice and tall. Tailbone tucked under. Nice long straight spine. Shoulders down away from your ears. Hands can be down by your side. Just coming into a mountain pose. Chest is slightly open. I want you to start by taking a few breaths to become present on your mat. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And completely exhale out the mouth. One more time. Deep breath in through the nose. And completely exhale through the mouth. Deep breath in. And exhale. Go ahead and gently open up your eyes. Let's start with doing some shoulder rolls. So coming forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. And let's reverse it. Back, up, forward, down. Back, up, forward, down. Breathe in, reach the arms over the head. And exhale, arms come down. Do that two more times. One more time. Bring your right arm in front, grab those four fingers and pull them underneath that forearm, stretching through the wrist and the hand. Take a breath. And pull those four fingers on top of that forearm. Take a breath. Let's take it to the left side. Grab those four fingers, pull them under. Take a breath. And above. Take a breath. Shake those wrists out. Breathe in, arms overhead. Exhale, wrist circles all the way down. And reverse your circles to come back up. One more time, coming down. And reverse to come up. Keeping those arms lifted over your head, we're gonna bring the right hand to the side of that right thigh. And we're gonna stretch the left arm over the left ear, keeping the chest open and the spine long. Take a breath. Coming back up through center, reaching that right arm overhead and stretching over to the left this time. Keeping that chest open. Take a breath. Coming back up through center. We're gonna look over to the right. Come through center, look over to the left. Come through center, look up. Center, look down. As we're looking down and our chin is toward our chest, we're gonna slowly turn to the right, looking at that right shoulder, come back through center and turn to the left, looking at that left shoulder. One more time. Over to the right and over to the left. Come back through center and then lift your head up. Let's open those arms up to the sky. Take a deep breath in and exhale. We're gonna open those arms up, twisting to the right. Maybe you can look back at that thumb. Maybe not, don't strain your neck. It's not worth it. And coming back up, reaching overhead, breathing in. And exhale, twist it over to the left. Maybe you look back at that thumb. If it's too much, don't worry about it. And coming back up to 
through center. Let's take a deep breath in and exhale. Let's come right into our chair pose. And forward fold. Walk those knees out, feeling how tight the backs of those legs are. And let's slowly begin to roll up. Breathing in. And exhale, hands to heart. Again, breathe in. Arms come up. Exhale, swan dive it down. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Nice long spine. Pulling from the crown of the head and the tailbone. And exhale. Forward fold. Hands come to the mat. We're going to bring the right leg back. Lower down on that right leg. Right hand comes on the inside of that left foot. Open it up to the sky. Looking up towards that hand. Maybe curl the back toes under and lift up as you're in the twist. Take a breath and lower down. We're going to frame that front foot, pop up on the back foot, come into a plank, and we chaturanga. So you can drop your knees down to modify. Otherwise, we're going to take a deep breath in, come forward, exhale, hands in at your side, flip the feet, and rise up. As you can see, my legs are suspended. I'm opening up my chest by rolling my shoulders open. Breathing in. Exhale, bend. Curl the toes. Coming right into your downward dog. Pedal those feet. Make sure you're breathing. And we're gonna step it right back up to the front of our mat. Forward fold. Take a moment. Maybe you sway it out by grabbing opposite elbows. Or maybe you just let everything hang heavy. Always keeping a nice small bend in your knee. And let's slowly begin to rise. One vertebrae at a time, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, hands to heart. Breathing in, coming right into our chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, and exhale, forward fold. Fingertips, hands come to the mat. Bringing the left leg behind us now. Dropping down on that knee. Left hand comes on the inside of that right foot and we twist it open to the sky. Keeping that hip in line. Maybe you curl the back toes under and pop up on the back leg. If that's too much, just stay down on that knee. Breathing in. And exhaling, coming into a plank, chaturanga. Drop your knees down to modify, deep breath in, exhale, open it up, inhale, bend those knees, curl those toes, and exhale your way into your downward dog. Breathing, pedal it out. And step it up to the front of your mat. Bring those feet together. Forward fold. Slowly begin to rise up. Arms overhead. Hands to heart. Bringing the arms behind. We're going to slowly come back into our chair pose, sitting down. Hold it here for three. As you breathe, two, 
One, and now we're gonna add on to our sequence. Let's twist it over to the right, lifting the belly by pulling the belly button towards the spine. Twisting over to the right, left elbow towards the sky. I'm sorry, right elbow towards the sky, left elbow on your thigh. Jeez, like it's not confusing enough, right? Take a breath. Come through center. Twist it over to the left. This time left elbow is reaching towards the sky. Take a breath. Come back through center and forward fold. Halfway lift, nice long spine. And hands to the mat. Let's bring the right leg behind us. Keeping that right leg lifted. Hands come in line with that ankle. We're on the ball of our back foot, pushing back with that heel. We're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Nose to knee. Coming back to our lunge. Straightening the leg. Start to marry the breath with the movement. One more time. Coming back to our lunge. Hands frame that foot. Slide that leg back to your plank. Chaturanga. Drop your knees down if you need. Otherwise, breathing in. Coming forward. Exhale. Inhale. Open the chest. Breathing in. Bending and curling the toes. Exhale. Right to your downward dog. <clears throat> Pedal it out. Breathe. And step it up to the front of your mat. Bringing the feet together. Forward fold. Slowly begin to rise up. Breathing in. Exhale. Hands to heart. Coming right into our chair pose. Sitting back. Hands to heart. Twisting over to the left. Lifting that belly off of the legs by lifting the belly button towards the spine. Take a breath. Coming through center. Twisting over to the right. Lifting that belly off of the thighs. Lifting the belly button towards the spine. Take a breath. Coming back through center. Forward fold. Take a breath. Halfway lift. Nice long spine. Breathing in. Exhaling to your forward fold. This time we bring the right leg behind. Did we just do right leg? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Kidding. Bring the left leg behind. Coming into our lunge. Fingers in line with the ankle. Back heel is pushing back. We're gonna take a deep breath in. And exhale, straighten the front leg, knee to nose. Coming back to our lunge. Straighten the leg, knee to nose. Marry the breath with the movement. And frame that foot. We're gonna slide that leg back to a plank. Chaturanga. Drop your knees down to modify. Deep breath in. Exhale. Open it up. Inhale. Curl the toes, bend the knees, coming into your downward dog, exhale. On the next breath in, make sure your tailbone is reaching towards the sky. 
And we're gonna lift the right leg, three-legged dog. Coming through the center, right knee to right elbow. Inhaling, three-legged dog. Coming through the center, twisting, right knee to left elbow, exhale. Coming back through, three-legged dog. Exhale, coming through the center. Step it between those hands. Turn and lower on that back foot. Bringing both hands on the inside of that right foot. We're going to open up into Humble Warrior. So you can have your fingertips in, inside of that foot. You can also have your block for some height if you need it. Make sure that knee is bent. You're gonna have a harder time if that knee is not bent. And let's slowly begin to turn back to our lunge, coming up on the ball of that back foot. Bringing your left hand to the outside of that right foot. See if you can just maybe twist and you can bring that hand to your hip. Maybe you begin to open up. You can also use a block here on the outside of that foot. That gives you a little bit more height to work with. Open up and breathe. Coming back, framing that foot. Slide that foot back, plank position. Take three breaths here. Make sure you tuck your pelvis under slightly to ignite the core. Make sure you're pushing back with your heels and breathe. Come right back into your downward dog. Pedal those feet. Breathe. Tailbone reaches towards the sky. On your next breath in, left leg comes high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Breathing in, three-legged dog. Exhale, twist it over, left knee to right elbow. Coming back through, inhale. Exhale, bring it through the center and step it up. Bringing both hands on the inside of that left foot. Again, if you have your blocks available, this is a great place to give yourself some height. So we're gonna turn and lower on that back foot. And then we're gonna open up to Humble Warrior. Again, if you don't have a block, fingertips work. And just do what you can. I mean, your arms don't have to be perfectly open. Just do what you can. Maybe your arm's here. Maybe you need to keep both fingertips on the mat. It's all good. Wherever you are, honor it. Be proud of yourself for showing up each day. Let's turn back to our lunge. So we're coming back to the ball of the back foot. And we're going to, again, if you have a block, place the right hand on the outside of that left foot. And see if you can twist and open up that way. Breathing. And let's go ahead and frame that front foot. Slide it back. Coming into your plank. Chaturanga. Set yourself up. If you need to drop your knees down to modify, please do. We're gonna breathe in. Exhale. Open it up. Coming right back to your downward dog. Pedal those feet. Take a breath. And let's step it up to the front of our mat. Forward fold. Slowly begin to rise. Breathe in. 
Exhale, arms overhead, hands to heart. Fix your pants, pick your wedgies, all the things, all the things you need to do. Lift all five toes on your left foot and place them down one at a time. Hands to heart. Lifting the right knee up. We're gonna breathe in. Exhale. Bring it right out in front, lifting with that quad. And bend. Coming right into warrior three. Square those hips. Slowly bending that knee. Straighten that leg, lifting with the quad. Nice and slow and controlled. If you need a chair or a wall, please feel free to use them. Nothing to prove here. We're only competing with who we were yesterday, trying to better ourselves. We don't care how much Susie can do. We don't care how high her leg can go. That's not why we're here. One more time. We're here for ourselves, our bodies, our minds, our hearts. Lower it down. Whew. Do you feel it on that left leg or what? Holy guacamole. Shake it out. Let's do the other side. So we're gonna lift all five toes on the right foot. Place them down one at a time. And I'm all about my stance being very organic. So I'm not gonna tell you to put knees to the front if that is not organic for you. Um, it's not organic for me. My knees automatically, if I put my knees front, my feet come into um, like a turned out position because that's how my legs are. So I want you to stand organically how you would normally stand in everyday life. But with that being said, I still want you to have integrity everywhere else. So be aware of your core, nice long spine, shoulders down away from your ears, standing up nice and tall, but we're still not standing like a robot. You know, get it? Okay. We're taking it to the other side now. So right foot is on the mat. Left knee comes up, hands are at heart center. Bringing that left leg in front, lifting with the quad. And come into warrior three, slow and controlled. Again, feel free to use the back of a chair. Hold on to the wall with one hand. Wherever you are, make sure you're breathing. Whoa. You might wobble, you might fall. It's okay, it's how we learn. Two more on this side. Make sure you're breathing. Last one. Bring it down, wow. Shake that right leg out. Shake both legs out. Let's breathe in, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive it down. Forward fold, halfway lift, nice flat back. Fold it in, forward fold. Hands come to the mat. Both legs come back into a plank. Hold it for three breaths. And then I want you to come into a chaturanga. I want you to go all the way down to your belly. So we're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. Drop your knees down at any time if you need. And exhale. Come forward, 
Breathing in, exhale, come all the way down. Flip those toes, flat on the mat. Feet are flat on the mat. Slowly begin to straighten those arms and slowly keeping those elbows in at your side, lower down. So we're breathing in to come up, opening the chest and exhaling slow and controlled all the way down. One more time, breathing in to come up and exhaling all the way down. Bring your hands down by your side, feet zip up. We're gonna fly. So here's what we're gonna do. Pressing your hips into the mat, lifting your belly button towards your spine. Take a deep breath. And on your next inhale, I want you to lift everything. Exhale, deep breath in. And lower down. Hands come under your shoulders, curl those toes, come into a tabletop, and let's swing the legs around. Coming into boat pose. Again, you might need a block behind you. That's totally fine. Um, and we're not gonna totally come into a boat pose. We're gonna kind of keep our toe, tippy toes on the mat. But we're leaning back, opening our chest. And if you have a block, grab it. If you don't, imagine you do and you're holding out in front of you. <laughs> we're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale, over to the left, over to the right, left. Right, left, right, keep going, breathing. Put your block aside, slowly begin to lay back. You can hug your knees in if you'd like. Bring those arms overhead in steeple grip. Pew, 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 like you got a gun. So we're interlacing all the fingers except for the pointer fingers are together. Arms overhead, covering your ears, lifts the upper back off of the mat, keeping the neck in line with the spine. We're gonna take a deep breath in, lift those legs up. Exhale, right leg, lift. Left leg, lift. It's very imperative that you breathe here. I'm not letting my leg touch the ground, keeping it suspended. those knees in. Give yourself a little back massage. And last thing we're going to do, let's put the hands just underneath our glutes slightly, like I, I kind of sit on my thumbs, just to keep my hands in line. Lifting both legs up to the sky. We're gonna breathe in, exhale, right, left. Now we're working on the lower core. Just a minute ago, we were working on the upper core. There's a method to my madness, I promise. Please make sure you breathe.
keep going. Hug those knees in. Good morning stretch. Nice long stretch. I always yawn in the good morning stretch. That's why I just kept the name because I yawn every time. It never fails. All right, bring both feet to the mat. Lift that right leg up. Walk the hands up that leg and bring it close to your chest as much as you can. Keeping the other leg bent. Stretching out through the high that leg. Take a breath. One more breath. And we'll work down. Other leg lifts up. Grab behind that leg. Bring it in towards your chest and breathe. Go ahead and cross that left leg over the right, making a figure four. We're going to lift the right leg, shin parallel to the sky, and bring everything in close to the chest by interlacing behind that right leg. Pulling it in close, keeping those feet, um, oh my gosh, flexed, Jesus. Sometimes words just get away from me and I'm like, wait, what was that word? Huh? It's like, what did I do to all my brain cells as a teenager? They are gone. If you want an added stretch, you can lift your upper back off of the mat and bring everything in a little bit closer. Maybe even add in a little baby rock. Feels so good. And slowly lower down. Let's take it over to the other side this time. Right leg crosses over. Left shin parallel with the sky, interlacing right behind that left thigh. Bring it, bringing everything in close to your chest, flexing the feet. Again, for an added stretch, you can lift your upper back off of the mat. You can even hug everything in. Maybe do a little rockety rock back and forth. Just breathe. And slowly and gently release. And I want everyone to turn to their right side and come on up to a seat. I just want to work on, I think I want to do splits today. We haven't done them in a while. And I feel like muscle memory is works the same way with flexibility. If you're not doing something every day, your body forgets. So it's true. So let's come into a quick low lunge on the left side. You can use your blocks here or your fingertips work just as good. <laughs> I do recommend getting blocks. I'll say it a million times because they just help. I mean, there's a lot of positions even I still can't hold. Um, a lot of binds and twists and things that I need blocks for. I mean, I just, I need that extra help and there's nothing wrong with that. The blocks are the reason that I've come this far, you know? All right, let's come into a runner's lunge. So I came from my low lunge and I'm pulling back, straightening my front leg, keeping a nice long back. I don't wanna hunch, I'm not sitting back. I'm sitting up nice and high, getting a nice stretch through the back of that leg. Come right back to your low lunge, sinking deep into that front hip, opening up the the, uh, oh geez, hip rotator. What am I thinking of here? <laughs> There's a muscle in there. I'm thinking of the word and I can't think of it. Hip flexor, thank you. Maybe it's not a muscle, maybe it's a bone. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a doctor. 
but I do know that we need to open up our hip flexors to get into the split. That much I know. All right, runner's lunge one more time. Take a breath. Come back to neutral. Move one block out of the way. You can place the other block down so you can land on it. If not, you're just gonna use your fingertips. So just inch back with that back knee, flatten that foot, push forward with the left leg, and use your fingertips to hold you up. Yeah, see, I was further along a couple days ago, and this, this feels very tight to me. Because I haven't done my splits in a while. A couple days. Take three breaths. And we're going to bring both hands over to the right side. I'm going to lift up and bring the lower half of that back leg in. And then that knee in. And then the toes. And then the knee until I'm comfortable enough to bring both legs together without hurting myself. Let's take it to the other side real quick. I don't want to keep you guys forever. Right leg coming into our low lunge, sinking deep. And you know, if you ever feel like my videos are too long, like you can skip this part, like the splits and stuff. But hey, if you want to grow in your practice, this is part of it. All right. Back to your runner's lunge. Take a breath. Come right back to your low lunge, sinking deep, opening up that hip flexor. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. And come back to your runner's lunge one more time. Take a breath. And move one block to the side. Again, just use your fingertips if you do not have blocks. Just inch back with that back knee and flatten on that foot. And then we're gonna slide forward with the right foot. Keeping the right front foot flexed. Sitting up as tall as you can. And take three breaths. Bringing both hands over to the left side, I'm gonna lift myself up, bring that lower half of my leg in, then my knee, then my toe, then my knee, until I feel comfortable enough to slide the other leg around. I don't wanna strain anything or hurt myself coming out of a split especially. All right, let's go ahead and lay back to our corpse pose, get nice and comfortable. Sinking into your mat, adjusting anywhere you need, finding where you hold tension and releasing that tension in your body, whether it's your shoulders, your neck, your glutes, your jaw. Try to be aware of it and release it now. Close your eyes. And we're going to start just breathing in and out nice and slowly, nice and controlled and surrender. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Go ahead and continue breathing on your own. Pillow just for a moment. Close your eyes. 
and just be thankful for everything that we can do with our bodies. Look at all the cool things you did with your body today. Would you have ever, ever thought you'd be able to do this stuff? I certainly didn't. I'm really proud of myself and you should be proud of yourself too. Let's slowly come into a seat. And if you want to finish by sitting up on a block, it's one of my favorite things, go for it. Another great reason to have blocks. I do need to do a practice where we just use blocks. I mean, not the completely whole time, but like we're gonna use blocks for a lot of the practice. So that will be one that I do in March. Um, yeah, I got some good ones, some good stuff. I have my list, so. Coming into a nice comfortable seat, hands can be on your knees or in your lap, shoulders down away from your ears, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment. We're gonna take two ohms. So we're gonna take a deep breath in. Um, one more deep breath in. a smile. Open your eyes gently. Hands come to your heart. I know you probably feel crazy doing that. I do too sometimes. But it really does feel good and you feel your body relax and it's just, it's part of yoga. Meditating is part of yoga. It just is. It's not just stretching and the workout part. There's meditation, breathing, being at one with yourself, being able to sit with yourself. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Hey, thank you guys so much for joining me today for my practice. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. I hope I didn't scare you away. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day. Namaste. <laughs> Bye.